How do you progress in your career at the Department of Energy? There seems to be a lot of paths to take and a lot of doors to open, but which ones do you open? Hey, I'm trying to use the bathroom here! Organizations like the military have a clear-cut ladder for success. Does DOE have a similar ladder? And if not, are there tools out there that can help a motivated employee benefit themselves and the department at the same time? Hi, I'm Steve Turner and our group's focus is on career progression within the Department of Energy. Let's kick it off to Ryan to start us off. Ryan? Thank you, Steve. My name is Ryan Besant. Today, I represent a new potential DOE employee. As a new employee, I want to be successful. I want to advance. But to do that, I need to know what you require from me, and I need to know it before I walk through the door for the first day of work. For example, I just got hired into a GS-13 billet that has a ladder to GS-14. That's awesome. Well, how long do I have to be a GS-13 before I can become a 14? Is it one year? Two years? Three years? Does my time getting qualified count? I need to know. If I don't know this, what's the problem? Well, if I show up expecting advancement within one year and later find out it will take four years, I'm going to be mad. And I'm probably going to look for a new job as soon as possible. It's going to cost DOE big money to hire and train a new person. And that's not even the worst part. This, this frequent turnover this just causes huge knowledge loss in organizations. So what's my solution? My ask today is that local advancement criteria for ladder positions be, be specifically included in new employee offer letters. Then a new employee will be more likely to stay with DOE and they'll be happy. Thank you. Off to you, Ron. Thanks, Ryan. Today, I'll be discussing leadership pathways and how they might benefit the Department of Energy. To help me illustrate the concept, I'll be using Mike, one of our division directors here in Idaho. He has served as a facility rep, safety system oversight, nuclear safety specialist, and program lead before being selected as the director of the quality and safety division. If I could be like Mike, would I be able to follow that same path to a division director level position? Mike has subject matter experts from many disciplines that work for him. While Mike might not possess expert level knowledge in each of these competencies, he has gained the relevant skills and experience throughout his career that made him the best candidate for this particular position. While there are many possible pathways for promotion to a division director level, this path clearly worked for Mike. But would this same career path work for someone else? Maybe, maybe not. So what does one have to do to build the skills and qualities necessary to advance to a division director level position? Our recommendation and what our team hopes to see as a result of this project is the development of career leadership pathway documents available throughout DOE for each of the many career disciplines across the complex. These career pathway documents would include key competencies, success factors, critical experiences, and formal qualifications needed to advance to the next level, from apprentice through journeyman and expert level competencies up to the division director level. These elements would be laid out not as a checklist, but as a roadmap designed to guide you and help you manage your career. We believe, and our surveys have confirmed, that having a clear, documented path to help guide and manage your career would both improve morale and help retain the talent that we have invested so much time, energy, and money in training and qualifying. For those managers in the audience, how many times have you hired what you thought to be an outstanding candidate to fill a vacancy on your team, then spent months or even years training and qualifying that person, only to have them leave a short time later for other opportunities in industry, where the career path and potential for promotion were more clearly laid out and achievable. We believe these career pathway documents would help minimize that problem and allow DOE to remain competitive with industry. Another benefit we would see from these documents is that it provides existing employees with opportunities to cross-train or laterally transfer to other career paths 
with similar skill sets and competencies. We believe the end result of this would be a more competent federal workforce with a greater diversity of skill sets and a knowledge base that is both broader and deeper than would otherwise be possible. And for our next topic, I'll turn it over to Gary. Thanks, Ron. One of the success stories I'd like to share is the Nuclear Program Support Division Qualification Card at DOE ID. NPSD was having retention problems due to the higher salaries available at the Next Door National Lab as well as other agencies. NPSD was seeing anywhere from 20 to 40 percent pay increases for staff leaving our office. Where do you think you're going? NPSD instituted a full performance level of GS-14 and instituted a qualification card to ensure staff met the FPL requirements. This qualification card maintains the USA job standard of requiring 12 months as a GS-13 prior to being eligible for promotion. This increase in performance level has allowed NPSD to double in size over the last year with no losses to other agencies or the private sector. There you go. This is humongous. I am not a security threat. Oh. And my middle name is Kurt, not Fart. What did I write? Thanks, Garrett. That was some great information. One other area we looked at to lay out a career progression path is process documentation. Process documentation is an essential business tool. It's an internal living document detailing step-by-step -step directions and guidance which leads to learning and refinement of processes. Now let's turn it over to Jess for a quick demonstration. Thanks, Lori. So what about process documentation at the Department of Energy? Our group conducted a survey across DOE employees that found that 88% of respondents said that their offices would benefit from process documentation. 85% said that process documentation does help career progression. When asked how much of their job duties was covered by documentation when they first began at DOE, a staggering 85% of respondents said that less than half of their job duties were covered by documentation. To give a simple example of how detrimental this could be, picture that you're a furniture assembler beginning your first day at work. You find out that you're going to be assembling a chair. And when you ask for instructions, instead of getting these, you get these. Just imagine the amount of trial and errors, frustration, and time that will be spent to complete the building of this chair without the full instructions. Taking this simple example and expanding it to the many complex tasks that are executed across DOE, you can grasp just how much time and taxpayer money could be saved simply by having the people who currently perform these processes write them down. Back to you, Lori! Thanks, Jess. What a great demonstration. So you might be wondering, how does process documentation tie into career progression? Well, first, employees understand what's expected for the next level. Second, as employees document the processes and tackle problems, they begin to take ownership. Next, simplified training. As process documentation is developed, you're going to receive a user-friendly guide for all employees. Last, knowledge retention. Knowledge is not lost in the face of unexpected employee absences or turnover. Well, we hope you enjoyed our presentation. Try to think of this information as tools you add to your tool bag as you propel yourself through your career at the Department of Energy. I know I will. I plan to use this information as fuel to propel me to new heights! <laughs> wow. wow! Hey, can you see the secretary up there? I'll give it a shot! Hey, I'm trying to use the bathroom here! Hey, Jesus! Hey, Madam Secretary! We're progressing our careers here really well! Hi! Wow!